Well, from fire to water or a lack thereof, California's drought drying up the second largest reservoir in the state, Lake Oroville. And when it's full, Lake Oroville sits at around 900 feet, but water levels have been dropping fast in recent weeks. It's now down to 655 feet. The record low reached back in 1977 is only about 12 feet below that point. Yeah, but it's not just evaporating. The state is actually still letting water out. So why is that? CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is getting answers tonight. One look at Lake Oroville this evening shows the concern. The power plant will be shut down by August because of the low water level, and it could take months and a major rain system before it turns back on. It's dropping really, really fast. There won't be much ramp much longer. As the water level drops, construction crews rebuild the boat launch along the Oroville Dam. It's getting lower and lower. So boaters and anglers can make their way onto what's left of it. Tim Howell has been coming here for 30 years. We come for a week every summer, so it's uh, lower than we've ever seen it for sure. And dropping by the day. This was the lake at the end of May. A mere eight weeks later, the lake is now just over a quarter full. Ryan Jager was fishing where he's standing now just a month ago. This is usually underwater. This is usually underwater, yeah. The water's so low, the Department of Water Resources says the Edward Hyatt power plant will go offline in August for the first time ever. Neighbors worry it creates the perfect storm, meeting the peak of wildfire season and summer heat and an anticipated power crunch. There's not that much water, so they're not going to get that much power. So. But with water dropping on average one foot per day, the Department of Water Resources is still out flowing more than 2,000 gallons per minute of water into the Feather River. Why? DWR says it's required for critical water supply, fishery needs, and to prevent salt water intrusion into drinking water. Environmental needs, avid anglers like Noah say, are important despite the little water left. It's very important for the salmon because if they can't get up the river, they can't spawn, and then you're killing generations and generations of fish that just, they'll never come back. And it for Tim and his family, they're soaking up the water now. We'll take advantage of it while we can. I don't know that they'll be able to in another week or two. As this beloved lake continues to disappear. We haven't seen the lake this low in nearly half a century. At full capacity, the power plant generates enough power to serve 800,000 homes. Now leaders say they'll be pulling power from other facilities across the state.